Hey everybody, Yuri Motso here, and today we're looking at the Scan Gauge 2. It's a real-time digital gauge monitor that measures performance, tracks uh, five different sets of trip data, and as well as diagnose your troubled codes. Um, possibly you can get 33% less fuel by using this. So if you've ever had success, please leave a comment down below. I'd be interested to see uh, your story on that. But uh, I have it set up on my Honda Ridgeline right down here in the center console. So you just turn it on. And the main reason that I bought it uh, was because I'm gonna be doing a lot of towing and I need to see the transmission fuel temperature. Uh, and that's gonna be the most important thing for me to make sure that the transmission doesn't overheat. Uh, and I have it just set up all the way down here at the OBD2 port. Um, can't see that at all. Uh, but anyways, uh, it's pretty cool because it has some preset gauges like horsepower, miles per gallon, gallons per hour, whatever else that you're interested in. But if there's a specific sensor that you're looking for, you can actually go and uh, get a specific, uh, let's see, where is it? You can go to the X gauge mode and online, there's a whole bunch of codes for every single sensor for your specific vehicle. And you can, if you want to look at uh, coolant temperature or something like that, uh, you can go ahead and input that and you can get that specific reading. Uh, the transmission fuel temperature one uh, actually does require for you to go on there and uh, use the X gauge function to uh, input that gauge. So I'm gonna, let's go ahead and look at how you update and put a new X gauge function in there. So let's get that started. So you guys are gonna find yourself at thescangauge.com. Go to their website, and if you scroll down to find X gauges, you're gonna click on that. And then on the next page for the X gauge commands, we're gonna scroll down and we're gonna find the vehicle manufacturer. And in this case, it's a Honda Ridgeline. So we're gonna go Honda Acura. We're gonna press view. And then you're gonna have a list of all the codes that you can possibly uh, and sensors that you could possibly uh, read on your Honda. So in this uh, example, I want to show you guys how to get the transmission fuel temperature and how to input that in on the scan gauge. Now to go ahead and input the code, first you make sure that you have the code right in front of you. And then we're going to go to more, more, mode, X gauge, and then edit. And uh, we can go to zero, one, and so on and so forth. We're going to go ahead and make this code number two, or sorry, code number one. We're going to go ahead and press edit. And then we're going to go put in the TXD code. Next is the RXF code. Next is the RXD code. Next is the MTH code. And last, you're going to name it. And that's it. Press save and you're done. So when you go to gauges, you would just scroll through and find the one that you want. And again, I already made it, so it's gonna be TFT, and that's it. So when you turn on your vehicle, it goes ahead and tells you that uh, the transmission fuel temperature currently is 143 degrees. So that's how you program the scan gauge to, uh, to get the readings. Now I wanna show you that I actually had another scan gauge right here, and it didn't work. And I'm gonna show you guys what's happening here. And if you guys run into the same issue, uh, either it's uh, a bad scan gauge, or it's just an older model that is not supporting these new vehicles. So if you guys happen to buy one and you get these codes, which I'm gonna show you in a second, I'll just let you know that uh, it's not the vehicle, it's the scan gauge. So one of the things I noticed is uh, that the transmission fuel temperature, first of all, reads really high, 260 degrees. And when I'm actually driving, let's just see if we can get some gas here. It goes up to 707, 800, and sometimes even thousands. There you go, a thousand degrees. And so if you guys ever have that issue, I think the issue with this is, first of all, this is an older unit. Um, and then if you actually go to the version history, you're gonna see that this is version 3.5 linear logic. And maybe this is not being supported by the Honda Ridgeline. Uh, so if you guys have this and you see these issues, this is probably the issue because the correct one is gonna read version 4.53 linear logic. So anyways, there's been some pretty significant updates and that is probably why uh, that's happening. So if you have a scan gauge and you have some issues with the sensors where they're not reading appropriately, that's more likely what's happening. So don't freak out. 
Uh, if you got it on Amazon, probably just return it and uh, get a new one. So anyways, I hope that this is very helpful for you guys because I know when I first got it, I was really worried and confused why my temperature gauge was 1,000, 5,000 degrees sometimes as I was driving. And then I just realized that, hey, this uh, unit that I got is no good. So anyways, you want it to be as updated as possible for the Honda Ridgeline. So now if you guys have uh, some sort of code that pops up, you guys can go ahead and press the scan button. Uh, I don't have any issues here, uh, but then you can also clear codes as well. So you can force clear, you just press yes or no, so I don't have anything to clear. But that's another thing that you guys can do, so it'll give you the exact code that's going on with your vehicle, uh, so you can diagnose uh, what your problems are. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video, and if you guys found this insightful and helpful, please hit that like button, and consider subscribing to the channel to see more videos like this. Thanks for watching.